Hello everybody, welcome back to the Atlantic Firearms Channel. Out here today at the range with something really exciting from our friends at Riley Defense. I'm going to take a second to talk about Riley Defense. Atlantic has worked with Riley Defense for some years now. We've seen a lot of development with their business where they've gone from initially producing AKM based rifles to then moving into AK-74s, the AK-103 uh, variant as well as pistol variants and now they're doing some cool milled Yugo M77 variants and of course the topic of today's discussion this they're calling the Crink 7.62 rifle. This is a really cool rifle. I'll tell you that uh, everybody in the Kalashnikov community loves AKSUs or AK-74 SUs is generally what they are in 545 by 39 uh, However, they, of course, these rifles have been made in 762 by 39 before, and that is the rifle that we have in hand. Riley has went ahead and made a really nice looking gun here with a fake suppressor on the end. We've got the side folding stock. It's got an optic rail on the side. It's got a lot of really cool features, and they wanted us to be the first ones to take a look at the rifle and give them some good, honest feedback. So that's what we're out here today to do. We've got the rifle. We've got some different kinds of ammunition loaded up, some different magazines. Really excited to get this opportunity, and we're going to take it and just run through some stuff with you. So we're going to do some different mag dumps and some other stuff, and you can see how it runs, and we'll let you know what our thoughts are, and ultimately, we'll let the team at Riley Defense also know what our thoughts are. Looking forward to seeing not just this 7.62 rifle, but also pistols in 7.62 by 39 in different variations, as well as 5.45, and 556 five, options coming down the line too. So let's go ahead and go hot, have some fun with this. Right now we're running some 122 grain and it's arsenal ammo. Let's have some fun. Ran great, let's keep it running. Let's have some more fun, get some more ammo. RIS ammo, steel cased, 122 green, Bakelite magazine, because we love Bakelite. Got to have Bakelite in there. Folding stock, nice solid lockup, got an optic rail on the side. Like these hand guards, feel good too. Selector's nice, can reach that with my thumb, with my left hand. So, let's go ahead and have some fun with this thing. Ran great, bottom to top, top to bottom. This thing has been running really nice. Got a little bit of weight in the front with that uh, fake suppressor on there, but go ahead and do your form one and get that thing knocked off. That'd be where it's at. Nice gun, nice running gun. Let's run it some more. All right, been having some fun with some different ammunition here in the Riley Defense Crank 762. And we've got some wolf ammo here. We love wolf ammo. Nice and reliable ammo doesn't break the bank well it's definitely gone up in price but still not breaking the bank compared to some other stuff let's go ahead and run this a little bit see how it runs had a mag failure guys see that not a failure on the part of the firearm, but a magazine failure. So we will go ahead and grab another magazine and have another go at that. Okay, next candidate up, we've got the WBP magazine with some Tula ammo, 122 grain. See how this runs. I did all that, and then some, and I killed the target. So let's get another mag. We had a lot of fun out here today with this Riley Crank 762. We've tried out a lot of different magazines, Russian, Bulgarian, Romanian. Uh, we're about to try out Hungarian, Polish, uh, US mags, 
different ammunition, 122, 123, 124 grain, full metal jacket, some hollow points, brass and steel. We've been throwing a lot of different stuff at this thing and it's been running really good. Last thing we've got here is some Hungarian magazine, a little 20 round tanker, got brass and steel mixed up in there. So that'll give us something fun to run. Definitely stay tuned to us here in the next few weeks. We're gonna be doing some more content on this rifle and some of the other variants from Riley Defense. Uh, definitely big ups on everybody for tuning in, checking, us, checking it out. Let us know what you think about it as we will let you know what we think about it too. So let's go ahead and run this bad boy. Got a little bolt hold open follower in there that didn't really work very good. So we had a little hang up, but that has really been it as far as hang ups go. We had a magazine failure earlier today where the magazine failed. We really haven't had any failures from the gun. So that's definitely something nice to say. Can't say that about everything. And we will continue to do some testing and let you know what we think about this. Again, let us know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe, like the video, check us out on other socials, and check out some of the other products from Riley Defense. We've got some cool stuff. See you next time.